Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to enable audit mode in a Windows 10 image in order to capture it. So let's get started. The first thing I need to make you aware of is you cannot do this on a previously installed version of Windows. You have to be staring at the screen you can see in front of me in this virtual machine, which is known as the OOB setup out of box or OOBE out of box experience. When you're at this screen, you press Control, Shift and F3 and it will reboot. And when it reboots, it will come back into audit mode signed in as a local administrator account. Okay, now we've booted into audit mode. It's asking if I want to make my network discoverable. So since this is a test machine, I don't really care. I'm going to say yes. We have our sysprep tool, which is opened up behind the scenes. Uh, we can leave that running at the moment. We can ignore it though. First thing we need to do is install the latest Windows updates. So we can click on the start bar and go to settings. We can go to update and security, click on Windows update, just expand that. And click check for updates. As you can see, it's found some updates and it's starting to download them. Okay, so as you can see it's wanting a restart because it's installed all of those updates so let's just do the restart now, it will continue and it will go back into audit mode. Okay, so now we're back inside, as you can see sysprep's opened again, so we can go back into Windows update, make sure that we're still up to date. While it's doing that, I'll make some other changes that I want to my image. So I'll open Windows Explorer and go to View. And I want to see file extensions and I want to see hidden items. You can also do this by clicking on Options and change the folder options. Okay, it's found some more updates to install, so we'll let it install then. Okay, so we're now shown that Windows is up to date. We've made a couple of changes that I would normally make to Explorer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the IP address of this and copy a file across to it. In fact, I'll see if I can get it off my network. I might be able to do that. This will install Notepad++, Opera and VLC, so I just double click on this and click Run. Close that down now. If I click Show Details, it will show that it's installing Chrome, Opera Chromium rather. Notepad++ is waiting to install and so is VLC. So we'll give that a moment. We should actually see the desktop icons appear here. There's Opera's icon appeared because it's installed. Should move on to Notepad++ next. There's Notepad++ and finally VLC. These are three applications I install on all of my operating systems. And there we go, I can now click close. So what I need to do now is I need to change this to enter system out of the box experience. I need to click Generalize, which will remove all the details from it that I don't want copied to the new image. 
I don't actually want any of these on my desktop, so I'm going to select them. I'm going to delete them, and I'm going to empty the recycle bin. Select yes to that. So I'm actually going to shut it down because we'll have to capture the image so that we can move on to our Windows deployment servers. So I'm just going to click OK, and the system should shut down. Okay, that's machine powered down now. So now we have to capture it, and I'll do that in the next tutorial. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.